Good morning. Uh, welcome into my home. It's September the 13th, and we're in chapter 13 of Acts. I want to hit the pause button just for a minute. Uh, I failed to mention on September 11th about the anniversary of uh, the terror attacks on the World Trade Centers and the Pentagon and our country uh, 19 years ago. Uh, where were you and what were you doing? I remember very vividly where I was and what I was doing. Um, just the time sometimes just stands still, and that was definitely one of those days where it just stood still. I just want to remember all those who gave their all, all the police, all the firefighters uh, that gave their all that day, uh, all the families that were affected. Our, our entire country and world have been changed and affected since then. I just wanted to remember that and, and uh, uh, say something about that uh, before I move on. Okay, uh, Today we're in chapter 13. What verses did you choose? I chose one, verse 13. Uh, let's jump right in and see what the Lord has for us today. As Paul and his companions then left Paphos by ship for Pamphylia, landing at the port town of Perga. There John Mark left them and returned to Jerusalem. Here's my reveal. Have you ever made a mistake in life or failed at something? I have. Let me tell you, I probably learned more from those situations than any others I succeeded at. You see, mistakes are not usually as important as what can be learned from them. We have no idea why John Mark decided to leave. Uh, maybe he just thought this was going to be a short journey and he needed to go back home. Maybe he got scared. It doesn't say... Uh, we can only assume. We do know that later, uh, like in Acts 15, Paul vehemently said he did not want to take John Mark with them, that he had left them before. Uh, and what happened? Well, one missionary team of two missionaries now became two missionary teams of two missionaries each. Uh, so God used this, whatever this friction was between Paul and John Mark, to uh, form two teams to go out now. Um, that's sometimes the way things happen. Paul and Silas went, Barnabas and John Mark went, so now we have four missionaries instead of two. Um, sometimes that's the way things uh, happen. This is also the same John Mark that wrote the book of Mark that was the first gospel written. Uh, we know that he had a very close relationship with Peter, and that close relationship with Peter, listening to all of those things that happened and seeing all those things firsthand, allowed him to write such a magnificent uh, gospel uh, that, that told the story. And that, that all happened after this. Um, that's pretty incredible. Here's my eye for implementation. Instead of beating ourselves up over our failures, look to the ways God is using those times to develop our character and make us more like Jesus. And that's ultimately what he's trying to do in each of our lives, is to make us more Christ-like. And we're not all at the same place in life. Um, I know when I got saved when I was 26, I knew very little. Um, now, some 32 years later almost, I have learned more, but I still feel like sometimes I don't know uh, enough. Um, that's, just, that's just part of our growth. It takes time. Here's my prayer. Thank you that in all things, you're working to make us more Christ-like. Thank you for godly men and women in our lives that encourage us, teach us, and help mold us in our thinking and our actions. Uh, I have many folks that are Pauls in my life. I'm thankful for those. I have many encouragers like Barnabas. I'm thankful for those. And I have several that I'm discipling. I'm thankful uh, for those. We each have those different steps along the way where we are to be made more like Christ through the lives of others and our interactions with those. I'm thankful for those. I hope you are too. I uh, hope you have a blessed day. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Let me pray for you and we'll close out. Father, I thank you for this this day. I thank you for this uh, the study in Acts. I pray that you uh, Lord, just help us to, to learn from our mistakes. Help us to learn from those times when we failed. Uh, help, us, help us to apply that learning so that as we go forward, we won't make the same mistakes. I pray that you continue to use those mistakes for your glory, uh, grow our character, uh, grow our 
our love for you and our need for you. Uh, and I pray that as we do these things, Father, we would just continue to, uh, to learn to listen to the Spirit as he leads and guides and directs us throughout this day. I thank you for these men and women. I pray your blessings upon them, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow.